traders and friends right around the world all i'm going to do in this particular video is just walk back and recap trades which we have placed as at the week ending the 9th of january 2015 so what has occurred over the past five trading sessions from that pro analysis class what trades have we been triggered into where were our entries where were our targets what was the result of the individual trade setup let's do something different let's start down the bottom and let's work our way up twitter was a surprise this week broke out above that first entry at 39 dollars and 52 cents it was one if not the only bullish stock from the list which we have been technically triggered into most of the or the majority of the others have been quite bearish so again price action is king breaking above our triggers we trust our triggers once we place them you can see the volume creeping back into twitter there's a bit of fundamental type of news floating around uh, regarding twitter and according to price action and of course trader sentiment it is being interpreted positively so that's twitter that is one from one as at Friday's trading, Tesla today has concluded or at least continued in the downward direction. You can see here 215.92 and then of course 212.57. Right now we're trading at 206.66, another decent trade from this week. It was really a continuation trade from last Friday or two Fridays ago. You can see the basic five day price action. It looks as if it wants to continue. Next target 202.41. That is two from two here is netflix this is the third trade from the week break down below 338.50 first target was 327.79 we had a second target at 316.43 um, this is three from three at the moment it seems as if we are setting up a very uh, high probability trade setup which i'm going to share with traders in that pro analysis class so there could be a very nice additional trade for the week beginning the 12th of January 2015 on Netflix. Halliburton this week was a trade or was a stock which didn't trade either direction. All right, it's done absolutely nothing. We're in a Bollinger Band squeeze. Um, earnings at the moment is coming out as at or according to Trade Navigator on the 20th of January 2015. So. Now we're starting to fight the clock with this particular stock. We'll see if we get the uh, breakout before then. GoPro is another stock which triggered as at this weekend or at this week. You can see it broke below $62.04. Let me just use my cursor right here. At the moment, we're only trading at $60.84. So it's really only you know a dollar twenty move to the downside. Um, it looks as if we're setting up some form of continuation to the downside. I'm going to walk over that in pro, but we still have our target down here at $54.25. I'm counting that as four from four. Correct me if I'm wrong. We've got Twitter, uh, Tesla, Netflix, and then GoPro. That is four from four. Google is five from five, actually. 525 was the bearish entry. First target was 51060. Um, and our second target was 499.50 in the matter of five days. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Um, you can see the price action really fall out of Google. This wasn't. Oh, this was one of my favorite trades from last week. Uh, Facebook was a stock which didn't trigger last week, but moving forward, we definitely have a good trade set up on this stock uh, this week as at the 12th, Monday the 12th of January 2015. I'll give you an update over the weekend. FAS, this was six from six. We had a 125.01 bearish entry. We had a 124.38 uh, continuation to the downside bearish entry. Here we are one day later at our target at 118.95. We did have a second target at 112.39 which I'll put my hand up and say, look, we didn't hit it. But at the same time, this was a highly profitable trade. Um, at the moment, you can see this bearish engulfing candlestick pattern as at the close on Friday. It looks as if it's poised to continue the rollover. And you know what? There's a very high probability that we are going to hit 112.39 this week. Caterpillar uh, was another great stock. <laughs> I mean, it just continues, doesn't it? We hit our target. I think this is six from six. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is six from six. Uh, I don't know if anyone got involved at 87.53. At the moment, you're at break even. This was a secondary order. So our first entry on Caterpillar moved from, I believe here, about $90 down to 88. Uh, and then we had a second continuational entry, which is at break even at the moment. So I'm not really gonna count Caterpillar, Caterpillar, even though I should. I think I counted it in our recap two weeks ago. Really is still a trade setup. It really looks as if uh, the downside price action is going to kick off on Caterpillar and we're going to see the base of Caterpillar stock fall out. 
or this is going to be the exact opposite at the other extreme and that this is an exhaustion of price to the downside and we're going to see a quick reversal and a move to the upside. So I'm excited to analyze this and I'll give you my thoughts on this particular stock for the week ahead. Baidu was a trade which we didn't enter into this week. The same with Halliburton, Baidu and Halliburton, no trade set up last week. However, as we learn and as you learn, I should say, how to become disciplined and structured, these are trades which, of course, naturally are going to give us opportunity in the future. If we didn't trade it uh, last week, there's a good um, chance and probability that they're going to be a target for us for the week ahead. That is exactly how these two stocks are setting up. Very, very neutral trade setups, but definitely high probability trade setups to continue our work in 2015. Barbara at the moment is breaking down. We've had two entries on this and at the moment, I'm going to call this a losing uh, position for us. Although we are pretty much break even, our first entry was 103.18. Here we are at 103.02. So technically you're up 16 cents from the first entry, but if you did get involved at 102.24, you are down 80 cents, okay? That's all right. This looks as if, again, we're going to continue to the downside. This looks as if we have a bear flag. We have a perfect bearish engulfing candlestick pattern at this pivot point. Um, again, short-term pain, but it looks as if this stock is going to roll over and continue to the downside. I'll give you an update on Barba at the moment. I'm going to keep that as pretty much one losing trade. I think it sits at five at one, five and one. And that one trade is very, very neutral, okay? Amazon also, this is a decent trade setup as well. We had our two entries, 301.51, 299.50. This was an additional student who I work with, 305.82. Here we are at 296.93. We hit our first target actually on the on the Tuesday at 293.07 intraday. So you should have been triggered out of that and you should have banked the profit on that particular stock. This is six to one now, six winning trades, one losing trade. And to conclude with, we have Apple uh, breaking down below that 111.03 on the Monday, I think. And you can see we hit our target here at 107.47. Um, actually, this was going back three days. This is the entry right here. Uh, we hit our target actually on the Monday and then we saw the quick bounce just like the markets have set up for us during the following trading sessions. At the moment, a very neutral trade on this Apple. So I'm going to count it as six and one from last week, six winning trades, one losing trade for a very, very good week in the markets to kickstart our first trading session or full trading week for 2015. If you have any questions, please email me success at pivotpoint-trading.com. Um, email me anytime, schedule a call if you like. Um, other than that, I'll see you on the pro analysis recording, which I'm doing for everyone as at the end of this recording. So this will be posted up first thing Saturday morning for our students in the United States, Canada, European students, uh, pretty much anyone in the Northern Hemisphere. All right. Good bonus for us or for me personally is that uh, we are working pretty much 12 hours ahead of the US. So right now it's a Saturday morning and it gives us the chance, of course, to get this information out to you. Uh, first thing, or the first, or pardon me, at the first opportunity for you to, to really witness it, all right? So thank you so much for watching this analysis video. I uh, wish you well over the weekend. Have a great weekend away from the market, and I'll see you all additionally in that pro class. All the best. Goodbye.